Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and welcome to Hyrule Castle. I just got locked in, and I didn't realize it would do that, but we can use Cronus to open up these doors using the water underneath them. Luckily, so we're not stuck in here. But anyway, let's see what we can find in here. There's, there's a lot of malice in here as well. I'm going to... Just switch off the Master Sword for now. Since I'm not fighting Guardians, everything else is not that hard to beat. Probably. Time out my hits just right. So I don't have to hit him too much. Might actually be a good idea to cook some food at some point since I'm out of regular food. Let me see what I can make quickly. Oh, there's a lot of hearty stuff I have as well, which is good. I guess I could switch to hearty food meals for now, but I kind of want to still cook up regular meals. And save... Ah, oh, I... this is why I did the first time I played this game, is I saved up far more hearty meals than I need. And then I beat the game and I still had hundreds of hearty meals left. Full heals. I know this is kind of an average meal to cook, but that's okay. I just need something to heal me. And I probably want to save some of these apples. Um. Oh, I'm very tempted to just switch. I probably should. But anyway. We need to find our way around. Some of these air these pathways are blocked by malice, so we can't get through them. We're gonna have to find a way around and then possibly open them up from the other path. I don't know where exactly I need to go for what I'm trying to get to. Let me look at my map. So where am I? There. It might be possible that following the other way. Oh no, the other way is blocked, so I need to. So this pathway doesn't actually lead anywhere, I don't think. It just goes down. Which means there might be some good stuff down here, or it just might be... Not much. Oh, there is actually an exit up here. But can I get through? Oh, I don't know if I can. That's interesting. Magnesis? No. Stasis? Looks like I'm stuck in here for now. Oh, there's a switch here. So let me stasis that and then go up and out. I don't want to clear everything in here at the moment. I'm just in here for a specific item or thing. Because there's a memory in here that I need to get. There's also a new type of guardian. Which I believe is... I don't know what they're actually called. They might actually be called... They might be called what I think they're called. Or what I call them. But I call them guardian turrets, because that's basically what they are. They're turrets. They're just, they're just stationary guardians, but they're not ruined. They are guardian turret. Okay. Cool, that's good to know that I'm getting names right. Shoot yourself. Don't shoot yourself. Why are you shooting yourself? Why are you shooting yourself? Oh, you really did shoot yourself, but my, my thing, my thing. Oh, ow. That's okay, I had, this is why I made food. Okay. And it's a good thing I upgraded my armor as much as I could. Although I probably want to upgrade it more. Come on. Do some more damage than that. Okay, he's defeated, but he might have might have been because of him shooting himself, basically. And I used Oh my goodness, those are that's two of those. Um, I think where I need to go is up there. <laughs> Although I think there's a proper way that you're supposed to get up there. I could just go over there and climb up. up. So I'm going to do that, probably. Royal bow there. Okay. This is just going to have to be how it is. For now. Let's go up here.
Okay. Whoa, darn glitch out game, please. And you need to also be careful climbing up this because there's a guardian, flying guardian around it. Which will spot me if I'm moving too quickly and too loudly. Okay, go. This place is absolutely terrifying, but also really cool. It's so cool. Where am I? I'm in there somewhere. Oh, it saw me. One of them saw me. This is bad. Oh, I fell though. That's even worse. Okay, let me climb up the other side of the tower so that one's not going to be able to see me. Oh, please don't tell me it just started raining and it's a thunderstorm. Oh, of course it's a thunderstorm. What else would it be? Okay. Oh, that's not good at all. I don't have many weapons that aren't going to get zapped by lightning. Oh, there's another one there. Let me climb up this side then. If it's not going to rain too much. Except there's stuff above me that's stopping the rain. That's good. And the rain's apparently not going at an angle. Okay. Just gonna climb slowly, I guess. I could switch my... to my climbing gear, I guess. So let me do that. And hopefully not get struck by anything. This, this map is not the best for this, but I'm okay with it at such Quite interesting. Read Zelda's research journal? Today I met with Imper of the Sheikah tribe and began my research into the ancient technology in earnest. Imper introduced me to Pura and Robbie, other respected members of her tribe. Tomorrow I embark on an excavation with them. We hope to find ancient tech with which to operate the guidance stones. Today we uncovered some ancient technology that we believe may have the power to control the Garden Stone. It is an, a regular object, small enough to be held by, uh, in, in my two hands. Shika text is featured prom prominently on it. It is made of an unknown material, but we believe it is the same as the shrines scattered across each region. Emperor proposed that I, that I hold onto it for now. I hope that it leads to some new developments in our research. The stone relic we discovered uh, has been named. We're calling it the Shiga Slate. We have not found any mention of a name for this object in the records we have unearthed so far. Never nevertheless, Pura insisted we call it the Shika Slate, as the relic is a slate made by the Shika tribe. Feels a bit on the nose to me, but it was... Uh, not a fight. I thought I could win. We did it. We were finally able to restore some functionality to the Sheikah, uh, the Sheikah Slate. We have discovered that this stone st the slate is capable of producing images. Perfect likeness of the things you pointed at. Unlike normal pictures drawn by hand, this requires no artist to capture anything in perfect detail. I deeply admire the accomplishments of Sheikah technology. Still, I know there is more to learn. There must be. We believe the Sheikah Slate may have a function that will allow it to control the Guidance Stone. We must continue our research and quickly. 
We have started training the champions who will pilot the Divine Beasts. It may sound rude that I found this unexpected, but Mifa mastered the controls with surprising ease. Daruk struggled at first, but eventually got the hang of it. Obosa and Rivali both managed just fine as well. I can finally see the light of, of hope in our fight against the Rising Calamity. Robbie has restored mobility to many of the guidance to, uh, guardians we've ex excavated. But we have still yet to find all of, of the guardians. Records mention a greater number of them, and even other types. They are said to be stored in five giant columns that rest beneath Hyrule Castle. The thing is, no matter how I search beneath the castle, I can't seem to locate these columns. They must be buried deep. Were they perhaps designed to sense the ap appearance of Clamped Ganon? And to only activate upon his return? Countless ancient structures are being discovered across Hyrule, but all attempts to enter them have failed. Records indicate that these are facilities designed to train the hero who is fated to combat the Calamity. But the crucial activation mechanism mechanism is remains a mystery. Is the Shiga Slate the key to activating them? That is Pura's theory, and I concur, and yet my experiments so far have been fruitless. Still, we must exhaustedly exhaustively investigate all means of opposing the calamity. We must not give up, no matter what. I spoke with Pura about the Shrine of Resurrection we discovered earlier. As we speculated, this particular shrine is, in fact, a medical facility with the power to heal. It also has a long-term stasis function that can be activated and maintained until healing is complete. In the war against the Calamity 10,000 years ago, uh, were the injuries so great as to necessi necessitate such a facility? If so, I will remain uneasy until we have made all adjustments necessary to restore it to full working order. I can only pray that even if Calamity Ganon returns, our battle will not require the Shrine of Resurrection's power. A whole lot of lore dump in that. But now, let's recall. Actually control them. At the current rate, we'll soon know all we need to know about the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. And should Ganon never show itself again, we'll be well positioned to defend ourselves. What are you doing out here, Zelda? I was assessing the results of the experiment with the Guardians. These pieces of ancient technology could be quite useful against them. I know that. They are essential to Hyrule's future, and our research demands that we keep a close eye on them. However, as the princess, you currently have a crucial unfulfilled responsibility to your kingdom. <sighs> Let me ask you once more, when will you stop treating this as some sort of childish game? I'm doing everything I can. Uh, I'll have you know that I just recently returned from the Spring of Courage, where I offered every ounce of my prayers to the Goddess- And now you are here, wasting your time. You need to be dedicating every moment you have to your training. You must be single-minded in unlocking the power that will seal Calamity Ganon away. I already am. Don't you see? There's nothing more I can do. My hope. My hope is that you... 
that you allow me to contribute here in whatever way I can. No more excuses, Zelda. Stop running away from your duty. As the king, I forbid you to have anything to do with these machines from this moment on, and command you to focus on your training. Do you know how the gossip mongers refer to you? They are out there at this moment, whispering amongst themselves that you are the heir to a throne of nothing, nothing but failure. It is woven into your destiny that you prove them wrong. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. You found the location of all 12 pi pictures. Zelda's father, the king, was very hard on her. Which is why she's very sad about a lot of things in the other memories. But anyway now... We have all 12 memories. So we're gonna leave Hyrule Castle for now, which we can actually just teleport out of, I'm pretty sure, by just pressing leave area on the map screen. Which will just teleport us to the entrance and we can teleport out from there. And now that we have all of our memories, let's head over to Kakariko. We also have eight spirit orbs to use. Let's go do that while we're here. Since that shouldn't be too hard. Do stamina vessel. And with one more stamina vessel. I believe that that is as much stamina as we can get. Your being overflows with vigor. There is no need to increase your stamina wheel further. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. So now we have our um, stamina wheel maxed out. This is as much stamina as we can have other than the extra yellow bit that we can get if we need to. Not that I ever think that's necessary, so... Anyway, let's head into... The house up here, I guess. Hang on. Figuring this out, and fine. Super fine. Hey, Pi, it's okay. Oh, Master Link. Because I wasn't here, the Elum, our precious Elum, Shika Elum. Actually, I kind of got it back. And then used it. What? Oh, so that means the heirloom has finally fulfilled its purpose. Thank goodness. It doesn't matter how it happened, so long as the object we have guarded preciously for generations. So long as it was able to help you out in some way, I couldn't be happier. I pray that the protection of the gods of old uh, follows you where wherever you go. So the sword has been returned to its rightful owner. Heh. Just as I, just as I expected of you, hero. The sword that seals the darkness is in is your counterpart. So long as that blade is at your side, you shall wield enormous power. The princess risked everything for you and that sword. 
Do not forget that... That. And do not waste this chance. Ah, that's right. I sense it. The, their presence. Daruk, Obosa, Rivali, Mifa. A hundred years ago, I put my life on the line to fight alongside everyone. But I could not protect them. They died without fulfilling their destinies. I have lived all this time thinking they died in vain. But this energy I feel from their presence, it seems they have not given up. I can also sense that they were all overjoyed to see you again. Now you all serve the same purpose. Now it is time to attack Calamity Ganon while he is weak. Hurry to the princess, go now. I believe you'll find Calamity Ganon in Hyrule Castle. Even with blessings of, uh, of the Divine Beasts on your side, you must be careful Calamity Ganon will be well prepared, protected. Be prepared for anything. Ah. By the way, how are you faring that thus that far? Oh. No. Whole 12 pictures already? You visited every place? Oh. Hmm. Then I suppose it's time I reveal the location of the final memory. Here's what happened. Lady Zelda gave me specific instructions. She asked me to wait to show you this. Yeah. This is the final picture. Doesn't look familiar? From this village, you should be able to get there in half a day's time. Now go, child. Seek out what Lady Zelda has shown you. So we can also just take a picture of this so we can have an idea of what to do. But it should be fairly easy to know where this is. So, let's head over to this shrine here, next to the Twin Mountains. And somewhere in this valley is the memory that we need. It shouldn't be too difficult to find. But it is a bit of a needle in a haystack kind of thing. There's a lot of guardians and a lot of places that could look like that. It does, however, have the pass to the, uh, the other area further that way. So it's probably not going to take too long to find... Something that looks like it. So, let's see what I can do. Just gonna get rid of you and you. Take your chew jelly with me. This looks like a promising spot, maybe? No, it's further this way, I think. It might be good to take a look at that picture. Let me, let me look at it. Hang on, I'm gonna turn that off first of all, and then... Okay... I can see this from here, can't I? Or something, that one over there. Here, right here. Okay, I was... If I walked a little bit further forward, I've, I would have seen it.
sword. So he can... He can still be saved? Princess! Huh? Princess, are you all right? Take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection. If you don't get him there immediately, we are going to lose him forever. Is that clear? So make haste and go. His life is now in your hands. Ago. I am here, inside Hyrule Castle. It is now time for you to defeat Ganon. Some of the longest quests that we've had going have been completed. I still don't think we're quite ready for finishing the game, unless we wanted to burn through all of our full heals. So from this point on, I guess I'm going to be tracking down remaining shrines that I probably can find and getting those done before going in. I don't know if I'll do all of them and get as many hearts as possible. But, I'll see what I'm going to do. It's all up in the air at this point. So I guess starting off, we should actually go to some of the locations we marked on our map. So let's start changing these to actual markers, rather than pinned locations. There's still quite a lot to go. Okay, we can probably start off with that shrine over there. Or maybe... I don't know, there's so many places to go to. This one's probably the easiest one, because I can just glide there. Since I know how to. And I did glide past there ages ago when we first came to this tower. Bet I could glide further now, though. Yeah. Legendary... And only Birdman, research assistant. If you want to fly, you need to pay the 20 rupee liability fee, of course. I'll glide for you. So you can get those 20 rupees. Can I get those 20 rupees? Fine. Alright. Stamina usage. Keep all these in mind as you consider the furthest destination you can reach by gliding. If you're ready, let's take to the sky. Skies. Bird, Reddit, man, study research, go. So obviously I want to use Revali's Gale to start off. And let's go. We can go a whole lot further, since we have Revali's Gale. And we also have just a ton more stamina. A ton. We can probably go really far with this. Although I still need to make sure I get past some of these rocks, so... We have to get the furthest distance and elevation we possibly can. What do I just hear? That's fine. And this song is still really good. Oh, there's a bridge. And water level. Water level is probably the furthest down I can go. But I can still go further out as well. I don't know if there's an actual specific point that the game wants you to go to. But I'm just gonna go. Oh, there's a Korok over here as well. Over 800, that's pretty good.
<laughs> Marvelous, what a breathtaking flight. I never dreamed a Harlan could fly 817.6 meters. Your methods may have been unconventional. I didn't see you flap your arms once, but they were effective. The field of Birdman research will benefit greatly from this data. You deserve heavy compensation for your stellar efforts. Please take this. It's only a silver rupee, but anyway. That was the longest flight yet, but I bet you can set an even better record next time. So if you're still up for it, now I'm, I'm done. I don't think I can get any further than that. But anyway. Don't, don't fall. Don't just fall. Also, I can probably mark that Korok there as a leaf, probably. That's how you want to mark Koroks that you know exist but haven't gone yet. Although, that's probably going to come back to bite me because I need to actually go get it at some point. And I'm probably not going to mark all of the ones I need, just from memory. Oh, where did it go? There it is. Started going the wrong way because of turning the camera around. But anyway, I think that this is also it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.